In this video tutorial I want to show you how to um, create a scoring system in Scratch. So at the moment I have two sprites, I've got the cat and I've got a ball and um, with the cat I've just got some simple controls on it where the arrow keys will move the cat and then I have the ball um, and it, the ball just moves around randomly on the screen. So if I click on play you'll see what happens and um, the objective of my game is I want the cat to um, basically catch the ball and every time the cat touches the ball um, I want um, the score to increase so let's start off by um, creating this uh, scoring system so to start off with uh, what you want to do is go to um, data and you want to make a variable and um, you can call the variable score Okay, and then you click on OK, and um, that's your that's your variable created. Now I just want to code um, the scoring system so that when the cat touches the ball, the score will go up by one. Now there's two ways you can probably code this. You can either code it in the on the on the ball or the cat, but I'm going to code it on the actual cat. So, um, start off by going to events and uh, when the green flag is clicked, um, I'm going to um, set the score to zero. So every time the game is started, the, the score will um, reset to zero. And um, then uh, go down to control and I'll put a forever command in. So this is going to happen continuously and um, I'm going to say that if um, a sensing sorry not a sensing but um, again um, I'm going to put an if statement in the forever um, statement um, and then I'm going to say if the cat is touching the ball so I'm going to drag this down and it should go straight in so if it's touching the ball which is sprite 2 then I want it to do something and I'm going to set the score or ch sorry change score by 1 so let's have a look at this in, if I zoom out a little bit You'll be able to see this. So when clicked, we're going to set score to zero forever. If the cat is touching the sprite two or the ball, then it will change the score by one. Now, if we play this, let's see what happens. Okay, and you'll see that there's a score up here, and um, basically the score will keep on incre increasing. So if I click on the flag again, it'll reset to zero. The score and um, every time I touch the ball, it will um, the score will increase. The reason why it's jumping is because um, just say for example, if the ball is here and it's passing through the cat, then um, it will still be touching the cat, and that's why the score is going up by more than one. What you might want to do is slightly change the program and um, within the ball, and you'd say if it's touching the cat then you might want it to bounce so if we go here um, if on edge bounce you might want to do some sort of programming um, and change the code so that if it touches a cat it will bounce as well um, okay so thank you for watching this tutorial on the scoring system